Welcome back to IGN Live at Comic-Con 2018. I'm Max Scoville. Call of Duty is one of the biggest video game franchises in history, and with Black Ops 4 launching this October, it's only going to keep getting bigger. Here to tell us more are Treyarch's Jason Blundell and Craig Houston. Hello. 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 Uh, thanks for coming by, guys. Uh, I think it, I it's lovely here. It's very comfortable. It's, it's we got a couch this year. We had yeah, a desk the past few years, and it's we were tired of it. We, we, we've been sitting on rickety chairs for most of the day, so this yeah. is, this is uh, luxury. It's a higher quality here. <laughs> well, thank you. It's, we got a rug and everything. Uh, so Black Ops 4, uh, you're here to talk about zombies, right? Yes. Yeah. That's the thing you guys have been working on. Mm -hmm. And, and I for feel 10 like, years. I feel like zombies, like, initially it was sort of like, you got like a little bit of, you got a little bit of freedom and you were like, we're going to be over here mm -hmm. making zombies. And then gradually it almost overtook uh -huh. the rest of Call of Duty. Can you uh -huh. tell me a little bit about what's going on in uh, Black Ops 4 Zombies? Well, you want to take that one? lots of things yeah. are going on. We, we have uh, a brand new storyline that we're starting. We are starting the Chaos story, which is what you're going to see in the maps Voyage of Despair and Nine with a brand new crew of Scarlet. Diego, Bruno, and Shaw. They're our new characters, and we're really excited for everyone to get to know them. We're also still dipping into the Ether story that we've been doing for many years as well with Richter and his crazy pals uh, on the map Blood of the Dead. And all yes. three of those maps are part of the main game. Blood of the Dead? Blood yeah. of the Dead. How is that not taken? We don't know. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I, somehow we got clearance uh, on that. Uh, Jason's just excellent at Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> Eureka. Uh, so you've got zombies on the Titanic. Let's, yes. uh, let's talk about that. Uh, how, how did that get approved? Um, well, so the new, the new chaos story really kind of plays with uh, our known history. So in the chaos story, things that happen with zombies kind of happen with what's kind of our known history of the world. So it can kind of fit in there, and uh, we can kind of experiment and have fun with stuff that people know about, but, you know, insert the idea that zombies were there at that time. Which, in a weird way, has kind of been, been part of the DNA of, of the Black Ops series. The entire series has always been about layers of story and what was really going on behind what you perceive to be the truth. So it, it's great for us. We can just we can grab historical things, both real and mythical and just play around with them and insert our crazy gang into it and let them fight the undead, as you can see. And it's just lots of fun to go to the Titanic, too. Yeah. I, yeah, that's, I mean, that's awesome. Uh, how, so, how was your research for the Titanic levels? Like, is it, how accurate is it, aside from the zombies and the It's extremely oh, accurate. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. We, um, we got all the blueprints, kind of broke everything down, even to the point where there's parts of the level where there's, there's food sitting out, and that was the actual meal that was sitting on the tables when the Titanic sank. That's awesome. So our artist went to the level of detail. The clocks are set at the exact time when it sang. Yeah. There, there, there's um, a few dialogue lines about one of the characters feeling a bit unwell after one of the dinners he ate and what he ate was, was actually on the menu. So yes. yeah, it, we're, we're pretty specific That's, about these things. That is like James Cameron levels of <laughs> attention to detail. Yeah, but we're not as angry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone is <laughs> on, a, on, a, on a daily basis. Uh, yeah. So you've got also a lot of uh, a lot of magic going on here. A lot of uh, Dark magic. Yes. Yeah. Uh, can you speak a little bit more about that? And uh, also, oh, is that? And now we pirate times. What? Because <laughs> <laughs> because a, a man has a knife. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the classic pirate weapon. The knife. Yeah. So so the the intro IDC kind of shows that um, our gang have gone on board to kind of get this artifact. And uh, it goes a bit wrong. It goes a bit wrong. Um, this other character kind of turns up, grabs it, and then uh, starts a process. And that process protects the people inside the bubble, where you see this kind of all this black kind of ooze spread out across the across the ship. And that's what starts to convert everyone into zombies and also transform the world into yeah, a, a trial. Yeah, these, with our these crazy yeah. things getting pulled from different parts of history and thrown in there. That yeah, yeah. Now, uh, towards the end here, I think there's a, a bit of with sort of a coliseum. Mm -hmm. Yes, what's, that's, what's, that's from the map nine. That's nine, yeah. What's nine. going on there? What's... Better time travel. Love a better time yeah. travel. All right, time travel. Yeah, so we, we start off and our, our characters are, are in a mysterious cave and they breathe deeply of these vapors and then travel back in time to somewhere kind of BC, AD time. Because that's how science works. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> And they're basically in this kind of coliseum, and they um, they have to uh, defend themselves, defend themselves against um, all the all the nasty zombies. And, and, and that's a fun one because you know there, there's a huge crowd there who are actually going to respond and interact and jeer and cheer depending mm -hmm. on how the the characters you, are doing. If you showed this gameplay out of context to people, I think there'd be a lot of other things they would list before they're like, "That's Call of Duty." Yeah, like you've got you guys have gone pretty pretty far off. Well, this is really like, exciting because we really wanted to kind of 
deal with the idea of, okay, what about a zombies map where there was an audience? What happens mm -hmm. if there's a place where, because normally it's in a kind of dark place or it's you know snowing or raining. We're like, okay, let's do it nice and bright in a huge coliseum with tons and tons of people and that they're jeering at you and kind of uh, shouting at the players as they, as they kind of perform. So. Um, that's why that's why we really wanted to do this map, which was it's just so different from all the stuff we've done in the past. But as we're as we're trying to make clear to people who fear this might be a small map, there is a lot more to it just than that central arena. Yeah, that, that's right. where you start, but well, yeah. you just you just teed me up for my next question. <laughs> <Okay>. Obviously, <laughs> one of the big huge uh, additions to Black Ops Four is, is Blackout, which is you know a, a battle royale for lack uh -huh. of a better term. Mm -hmm. uh, did you ever consider putting maybe zombies in a scenario like that? Is that something you could yeah, see happening? Mm -hmm. This, this is moving into uh, yeah. we can't talk oh, about this yeah, kind of that's, stuff. That's, a, that's see, an interesting question. I mean, you know, when, when, when we did we, we did the reveal, it, it did show that. Is this, that, the, that, is this that, the point where we have to be cryptic? You're always cryptic. Yeah, that's sure. your hobby. it feels like it right now. Huh. Huh. What do you know? <laughs> uh, well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, now, I got to ask, is there anything without spoiling maybe uh, stuff you've got you know tucked away for future iterations uh -huh. of, of zombies? Is there anything that just got shot out of the sky? Like any crazy idea? You're like we have an idea for something, and they were like, no, you can't do that. And they're like, all right, well. The Titanic instead will do it, you know? Like, it's, it's very, it's very rare, you know? It's actually, we encourage that stuff. So uh, part of the kind of zombies ethos is look for stuff that is provocative, look for stuff that the community's not expecting, look for yeah. stuff that makes us feel a little bit scared. Because we don't like repeating ourselves, and we want yeah. every map to stand alone and be a fresh new experience that can be an entry point for anyone. So, you know, while there's a larger narrative that connects both, both Nine and Voyage, they kind of stand alone as their little adventure, because we don't know who which one people are going to play first? The only ideas that we, we knock down are ones where they repeat. Yeah. It's not the new stuff. It's when it's like, oh, we've done that before. Yeah. So no. Too safe. Get that out of here. Too safe. Yeah, or, exactly. Too, too safe. Uh, yeah. can you, uh, you mentioned the, the characters for a moment. Can you kind of give me a, a quick primer in, in the new characters? Uh, a little bit. I mean, uh, we, we have a, a prequel comic book series coming out with Dark Horse that we announced yesterday, which is going to tell the story of how these four characters came together on this adventure. They are all connected. Uh, to a chap called Alistair Rhodes, who is actually Scarlet's father. They are all associated with him, and we'll find out more about him and how he met all these crazy people and what their individual skills are. So, you know, um, part of the fun is just really leaving it so that people all learn to love them and learn to learn more about them as the story develops. So we don't want it put ourselves in a box and say, we got an interesting question the other day, it's like, are these all good guys? And I was like, well, <laughs> yeah, it's more interesting than that. I'll put it this way, as, as the story progresses, your opinions about them are gonna, gonna change and evolve. Like part of, part, of, part of the journey is letting our community kind of work these things out. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Uh, that is out uh, October 12th? Yes. Yep. Wonderful. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming by. Uh, our pleasure. pleasure. Coming up soon, dozens of film franchise, franchise